As the conflict between Hamas and Israel flares up, social media fills with sci-fi looking videos of glowing interceptor missiles rising into the night sky to take out incoming rockets in a burst of flame. Comments like, Star Wars, and, Alien Invasion vibes, abound when describing the Iron Dome defense system. What is actually going on is a struggle between very high-tech and very low-tech forces, pitting state-of-the-art Israeli systems against simple homemade rockets. But this high-tech may not be enough. The Iron Dome, made by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems carried out its first intercept 10 years ago. The company claim it has intercepted more than 2.500 threats with a success rate of greater than 90%. Iron Dome comprises a series of detection and tracking radars, manned battle management and weapon control centers and unmanned missile firing units. The units are dispersed allowing Iron Dome to cover the maximum area. The radar detects and tracks multiple incoming projectiles. The battle management system then determines whether each projectile is a threat, and assigns one or more interceptors. Each launcher carries 20 Tamir missiles which weigh around 200 pounds and have a range of over 40 kilometers. They are estimated to cost between $20 to $100,000 each. Iron Dome is highly effective, and the vast majority of the rockets recently fired by Hamas were intercepted. However, some got through, with reports of five Israelis killed and dozens more injured. The rockets on the other side are less sophisticated. One of the original names proposes for Iron Dome was anti-Qassam, Qassam being the term for the rockets made by Hamas. These have become larger over the years but their design is unchanged. The rockets are locally produced, the main component being the body which is a length of steel or aluminum piping with fins welded onto it. This is filled with rocket fuel made by mixing fertilizer with melted sugar. The rocket is fitted with a warhead of homemade explosive, and the detonator added. A Qassam rocket has no guidance system, and is fired from a simple metal frame, also homemade. The original version was about 6 feet long and weighed 80 pounds with an 18 pounds warhead, but only had a range of 2 miles. The biggest now weigh more than 100 pounds, still small enough to be set up and launched by two men, and has a range of over 20 miles however, even these are much smaller than the Tamir missiles intercepting them, and cost just a few hundred dollars. Qassams are generally fired in salvo. They are extremely inaccurate and can only be fired in the general direction of the target, hitting anything as a matter of luck rather than judgment. The crude warheads do little damage compared to more modern weapons. Their effect is mainly on morale, forcing the targets to interrupt their lives and hide in shelters when the alert sounds.